This is interruption of the fluid 104, the derivation of Pacelli's equation. So we have a capillary of length L. Okay, we have a pressure over here, P plus delta P, pressure P over here, the force due to pressure. Okay, so this direction is force due to pressure. So we'll call it F of P plus delta P times pi r squared. Okay. And the force due to viscosity. So that direction. F velocity. Yeah, viscosity equals F minus mu times 2 pi or L. So the change in velocity and the change in radius. Now these two forces must be equal and opposite. Therefore, F of P equals to F of V. Therefore, minus mu times 2 pi or times L by changing velocity or changing radius equals to changing pressure at pi or squared. Therefore, dB, dr, so changing velocity over changing radius equals to delta P at pi or squared divided by mu times 2 pi or times L which equals to delta P divided by 2 nu L times the radius. So, therefore, change of velocity equals to delta P or 2 nu times L times or d or. So we're just going to integrate this equation. So, going to write over here um, from 0 to B and integrate over this side from little or big or so therefore we have the velocity with respect to radius equals to delta p divided by 4 times nu times l times big or to be squared minus little or to be squared okay and then if we plot this really fast we have velocity on this axis we have radius on this axis. But the radius goes from zero to big or has a parabolic in nature where the maximum velocity is in the center of the pillar. Um, it's going very slowly towards the edges. Now if we use the equation of continuity, which is changing the volume over the change in time, volume this time, the time, equals to the integral of velocity in the area. Therefore, we have change in volume or change in time equals to the integral of the velocity with respect to radius times the area, which in this case would be 2 pi r times d r. So therefore, we have the change in volume or the change in time equals to the integral from 0 to big R is delta P over 4 nu times L big R squared minus little r squared for the area 2 pi R d R so now if we integrate that equation we have change in volume or change in time equals to delta P over 4 New times L times 2 pi times the integral from 0 to or or squared times little or minus little or to be cubed d or. So therefore, changing volume over the changing time equals to pi times delta p over 2 new times L by big R so power 4 over 2 minus big R power 4 over 4 which will equal to pi times delta P for 2 new L by 4 to the power 4 over 4 
therefore change in volume over the change in time equals pi is delta p squared to the power of 4 over 8 times nu times L but if we define the change in volume the change in time is defined as our Q value it should simply equal to our pi times delta p times radius to the power of 4 over 8 nu times L so then flow rate equals to pi times the change in pressure times the radius of the equator to the power of 4 divided by 8 times the viscosity of the fluid times the length of the equator.